Hello my darlings and welcome to Way of Survivor number 11. So as you can guess from the title and the video length, this will be a short one, but let's enjoy the ride nonetheless. My first opponent is Dennis, and actually this is kind of funny, so you see me just standing and doing nothing, and I was freaking out on my, why my controller wasn't working. Luckily I found out I was tapped out of the game and that's why it didn't work. And actually I'm using the most beginner combo here right now, <laughs> as I'm in shock. Dropped even the this confirm and yeah, used an early burst to get momentum back, put him in the corner, but not really a good thing to do against Tega who can just drop you. So I should have held on on that burst. Bad uh, roll out, roll backward in this case, but as you should never do that in the corner, but uh, don't get punished too harshly for it, but Still takes it, it takes me out with this with this overhead of uh, Tega. So I'm down around. It didn't look that bad to be honest, but yeah, I'm still playing a bit sloppy, and I feel he's playing sloppy too. So if I had played on my best, I would have won that round. But yeah, it can't always be the way you want it to be. Good job for me not falling for the spark bolt, but of course getting electrified or magnetized either rather is uh, never good. Another momentum burst, again not really good, didn't get anything from it. I was just so scared. I tried to go for the double overhead by, but missed it and he was even blocking it, so either way didn't work out. So if you don't know, the instant overhead with, overhead with Kagura is JC with a slight delay and uh, then another J rapid cancel, another JC. But uh, didn't work out in this case and I mistimed everything, so yeah. I try to be sneaky with the Ajidaha here, another panic burst, again, not really playing very well this, that day. At the very least I get the Bluebee pickup. And here again, this should have been uh, 2db at the very least, but instead I get get the Drake out. But Dennis seems to have find, uh, found his groove a little bit, I don't see him dropping uh, stuff anymore. And I have also get, got a bit of it, it's probably just because both of us weren't wound up. Getting the good 4k in, uh, leading uh, commanding lead, but I'm, but he gets him with his spark build on the A orb reset. He was probably waiting for something along that line, and all of a sudden the commanding lead is only a slight one, and I'm in a bad spot because I'm in the corner. Yeah, you have to be careful with 2C against Veg Catapult, and he realized I was going for 2C, and just destroyed me so that way. Windwurm, but I wrap it and make it safe. And yeah, this would have been the round and... <laughs> yeah, this is a, not a hero burst, but yeah. Just trying to somehow uh, survive this round. And I got way too antsy there and lost because of that. If I have just chilled and zoned him out and I would have just won because of timeout. But I didn't and uh, yeah, he's up on match point in this game. And actually he's one of the few players that uh, punish 2DA accordingly. Because that is pretty unsafe on block of course, I can do uh, stuff after this, so it's a bit of a mind game of course, because if you mesh too early and uh, I get Hydra 5DA out then you get hit instead. But he realized I, w I wasn't about to do this and took the game off of that. Next up I'm against Rivalin, a strong Ragnar player. I'm not that sure about if he's the second or third strongest, but again a very strong Ragnar player. and. Um, in Europe at least, of course, 
if we are looking past the season, we have Beta Dude, who is doing very well. And here in this match, actually it's a little bit late to point that out, but I still do this. I was waiting for the Gauntlet Hades the entire time, and then when <laughs> he hit me with it, I was uh, slightly late and got hit. So I waited for it to uh, be Fafniat, and he just gets the perfect because of that. Completely threw me off. Playing it a bit safe here, trying to film out, but of course safe means still random wyverns in my case, because that's just the kind of person I am. Like I'm not subtle, no at all, and so is my gameplay. At the very least I get the uh, uh, Sifafnir and put him in the corner, but he does very well to, um, to punish my 5C attempt after the 5DA. So essentially not many characters can do it that easily, but of course Ragnar with his godlike range and fast speed, the 5D isn't called Jesus Kick for no reason, so of course he can do that. Yeah, and he gets me with another Gauntlet Hades. So this is something that I always pray, uh, or not pray, but I always tell everyone. The key in defeating Ragnar is obviously to to shut down his Gauntlet Hades and his Death Scythes and potentially even his C buttons, because um, quite similar to Kagura, C but most of his C buttons should be interceptable with overdrive, so you overdrive, get a big punish, and boom. Of course that's easier said than done, obviously, and it's lots of experience, but we are getting there. Uh, this was an unfortunate drop, I believe that Bifafni might even have hit there. Because I believe it has a more generous hitbox on the back. I'm not entirely sure, I might be uh, telling Quark here. <laughs> uh, Quark is a German word for Kurt, and we use it when we are telling bullshit and stuff. And also, Kurt is awesome. Very good patience for me, actually. And. I'm not sure, maybe I could have won that e uh, with uh, with an extension because I had all the meter in the world there. But instead I didn't do it, he gets around and it's match point again for Revelin, for Lucis and this was the tourney. Very good uh, bait on my beef here, so block and punish because he was still on the ground. And here I tried to... Oh, I actually did it. But I messed up the combo. So I have left some combos with Kagura for these kind of situations. But, uh, yeah, not that easy to do them when you're not that used to using overdrive to punish stuff yet. But it's one of the things I am I'm actively working on because of the advice I got from Ray. Ray actually the GOAT. Also, uh, Cheering me on on commentary last time in, in the weeklies, in the Wednesday weeklies by Maho Shoujo. And yeah, this was my run from Salty EU. You can enter Salty EU yourself, it's it's on Tuesdays, and then there's on Saturday the Blaze Blue EU Open Regrown that has also tourneys and weeklies. And yeah, hope to see you in any of these tournaments. Until then, bye bye!